At this moment, we would like uh, to start the regular press conference with Minister Motegi. Just one thing. On March 30th, uh, that's Tuesday next week, uh, here in Tokyo, Japan and Indonesia, a 2 plus 2 is scheduled to be held uh, on a face-to-face -face basis. Now, during the same visit by Indonesia, a uh, foreign ministerial meeting with the Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno is also planned. Uh, we are coordinating uh, the date and the time for that as we speak. Through these consultations, uh, we will share our awareness uh, with Indonesia on the regional security environment, which is becoming increasingly severe, and at the same time, engage in discussions uh, on bilateral cooperation on security and defense, including cooperation on the realization of uh, the free and open Indo-Pacific. That would be all in terms of uh, initial remarks. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and use a microphone and mention your name and affiliation, Yamamoto-san, please. I'm Yamamoto from NHK. About the launch of a ballistic missile by North Korea, the Indo-Pacific uh, Command uh, called Sea of Japan as Tonghe, East of Japan, but why is it that they called that name? Was there an explanation from the United States? The statement that you have mentioned was corrected, and the United States uh, I understand, uh, has mentioned that the name of the Sea of Japan and the mail was sent, that that name must be to be used as the only approved name of that feature. So I think this reflects the position of Japan correctly. As for the discussions that we had with the United States on this subject, these are diplomatic discussions, so I will not refrain from talking about the details. Next question, please. Go ahead. My name is Nishimura from Radio France. With respect to uh, border uh, control measures, I have a question that I wish to ask. Uh, the Japanese uh, government uh, for the Olympic and Paralympic uh, Games uh, is uh, going to take special measures uh, to allow entry by athletes, uh, IOC members, uh, and VIPs uh, to come to uh, Japan and enter the country. Why have you not been able to take special measures uh, similar to that uh, for international students uh, who wish uh, to study in Japan? There are international students who strongly wish to study in Japan, and this has to do with their future. Uh, there are severe uh, quarantine measures that could be taken, and with that in place, I think uh, it is possible to allow entry by these international students. What is your view, Mr. Motegi? Uh, here in Japan, uh, the situation of uh, coronavirus here in Japan is uh, such that it is not yet under control. So when it comes to new entries by international students and uh, foreign people, uh, we need to make a careful judgment on that uh, in view of the situation here in Japan and overseas. And if uh, the entry is of uh, public interest, uh, a nature emergency, then uh, based on that, uh, on the assumption that uh, street measures are taken, uh, we will make a judgment on a case-by-case -case, uh, basis. And so athletes, uh, Olympic members, and international students, uh, we will make a judgment for them in the same manner. Next question, please. It's never from Sankey Shimbun. My question is about the Shenzhen Wugul Autonomous Region. At the press conference yesterday, a spokesperson of China uh, criticized Japan, uh, expressing its uh, serious concern about the violation of human rights and mentioned is Japan respecting human rights, giving example of awareness of recognition of history and the Yasukuni Shrine issue. The statements made by the spokes spokesperson from other countries are not in position to make any comments about it. <laughs> 